Hello and welcome to MS Tech Hub. This is the continuation of validation series. In this video, we are going to discuss about select or drop down list. To validate drop down list, we need to define add method using the add method function of validate jQuery. Let's flip to Visual Studio. To validate the drop down, we need HTML for drop down so first of all we have to define a label which is explaining the name of the drop down form label i am going to pick the drop down for gender select I am giving the ID gender the name gender and I am applying the class form control it is the bootstrap class and we are adding an option the value 0 it is the default option select I am making two copies of this first one is second one is female with the value 1 and 2 now let's move to the jQuery section we have to define the method on validator add method this method takes three parameters first one is the name of the method for select I'm just giving the name and the callback function now callback function is taking three parameters first one is value second one is the element and the third one param let's close the function body and give the message this is the default message select gender and provide the definition of the function we are just checking the value not equal to 0 we are validating the value but we have provided the default value the default value we have provided 0 over here if you have provided minus 1 or anything else you can just check this value over here now we have to use this validation on gender when need not required over here we have placed the the method what we have created over here in the gender validation rule click on submit so it is saying the gender is required when we select an option the error has gone when we select any the default option the error has coming so we are having a design problem over here let's check why it's that so we have to place this in a div with a class form group let's rerun the program check in the browser when we click on submit 
now it is aligned proper when we select an option the error has gone when we select the default option the error has coming select gender that's it in this video thanks for watching